is nice. And apparently we need to enjoy all of this while we can because <laughs> meteorologist Mike Taylor is going to tell us about some colder temperatures and maybe some uh, precipitation on the way, Mike. Yeah, that's right, guys. We already have the storm system evident on satellite. Another byproduct of uh, daylight saving time is the fact that we have access to visible satellite imagery. So this is a snapshot from space, actually. Uh, we can see it because you need the sunlight uh, to illuminate for you for the, through the atmosphere. So you can see the reflectivity, the dark space. That's actually land. Notice the swirl in the atmosphere. That's our actual area of low pressure that we'll be tracking. Right now, it's dropping feet of snow. That's right, feet. Uh, in areas like Wyoming, as well as portions of uh, uh, Colorado there. So they're going to be dealing with this storm system. Out ahead of it is producing some severe weather. We have an area of high pressure that's really anchored here. It's going to be drifting towards the southeast. And notice it's already working against this system. So yes, we have rain in the forecast, but we're not expecting a whole lot because the dry air is really taking over. Temps are down to 43 in Detroit, 38 in Mount Clemens, Pontiac at around 41. Same in Howell, but down towards Ann Arbor, you're at around 44. Lots of sunshine still on tap. We climbed up to a high temp of 50 degrees this morning. We were at 36, thinking we're going to go colder for tonight, maybe even below our average number there. So for the rest of this evening, it's going to be more of the same, just temperatures are dropping. We'll have temps in the 40s, but once we get into the overnight hours, the temps will continue to drop. In fact, I'm expecting some lows going down to the, around the, the 20s in spots. 23 in Windsor, Detroit at around 21. Uh, Mount Clemens, 22. But notice that Ann Arbor, you'll be down to 19. So a chilly start tomorrow and also a chilly finish. This will be some of the coldest numbers that we've seen in almost two weeks here in Metro Detroit with highs barely reaching the 40s. I'm thinking most spots probably won't even hit the 40s because of a pretty strong easterly flow that's going to set up due to that same area of high pressure. That's also going to hold this system at bay, but I'm thinking it'll be close enough to Metro Detroit that it could bring a wintry mix Monday night into Tuesday morning. Notice temperatures are going to be sub-freezing, so we could have some slick spots out there. Just going to be a glancing blow, thinking as we get towards your Tuesday afternoon, temperatures begin to warm and recover, and that's going to be a nice change-up. Uh, but just looking here, Tuesday morning could have some slick spots before we climb to that high temp of 45, so just be aware of that. St. Patrick's Day looks dry with a high of 54. And the first day of spring is on the seven-day forecast this upcoming Saturday with a high temp of 50 degrees. All right, next weekend.